Hi everyone, welcome to the exciting session of Python with Spider where I'll show you how to execute the Spider scripts like notebooks. Two approaches that I will show you. First is I'll create uh, the normal Spider editor where we'll, we will convert this into the cells and wherein we can execute each cell individually. And the second step is we will run set uh, this conda install spider hyphen notebook hyphen c spider id hyphen id in our uh, anaconda prompt. And after that, we need to restart our uh, spider editor. And then uh, I'll show you how to enable the notebook and then wherein we will exactly execute the commands in the spider notebook, okay? So let's start. Please note the script that I will execute. It is present in my uh, videos uh, for Seaborn. Please note the videos, the, uh, the script that I am executing. I have explained it in detail in my session number 15 Python for machine learning where I have explained in detail about how visualization for Seaborns work. Okay, so let's start. This is my data set auto mpg and uh, it's in the cvsv dot format and what we are doing we are i have shown how to plot the residue how to plot the different degrees of curve linear uh, second degree third degree curve all those things how to style our curve how to uh, plot multiple curve then i have shown how to uh, plot the joint plot pair plot and how to uh, finally will uh, wind up by showing how to plot the heat map but i don't want if i execute this okay everything will be executed one after after the another okay if you just give me some time it is running and okay so, so the code has executed and if you see all my code has been executed in a single go okay but the thing is i don't want to execute this in a single go i want to execute suppose uh, i want to uh, consider this as one cell this as the another followed by this as the other so one way is to highlight it and simply execute it okay so this can be done the other way is to properly create into okay give hash percentage percentage now this will be one uh, cell and this the entire below this has this line will be created this is one and this is the other cell what you do again you create one more cell hash percentage percentage okay again here, hash percentage percentage similarly you create here hash percentage percentage so everything this is transformed into a specific cell so this be, this becomes hash percentage percentage okay this become hash percentage percentage and finally we'll give our pair plot and then which is followed by the heat map okay so we have now if you execute this okay we'll what we'll do we'll a reset now if you execute this only this set of code is executed right now if you execute this it works exactly in the same way the values of this cell will be dependent on the previous cell okay so you cannot execute uh, the prior cell if if it is dependent on the previous cell you have to execute that cell you execute this okay this is nothing but a scatter plot for different degrees now for styling you give gg plot and lm plot now for uh, the just for subplot you execute this i'll just execute this heat map the last one the heat map is so this is one way how we can convert our uh, spider uh, code script uh, the script python script in spider we can convert into cells and we can execute it because many people prefer uh, to uh, work in notebook like environment now if you are really really in, uh, interested i prefer this because i can see the values of the variable which is very helpful in debugging and if you are really really uh, interested in working on a jupyter like notebook we also have something called uh, spider notebook okay so what we need to do is we need to open anaconda prompt you open the anaconda prompt and we have this command here you copy it and paste it and you need to execute it okay and then i have already executed this you have to uh, once that runs successfully you have to go and you have to give a restart okay you don't need to restart your system just restart this spider file okay once you restart that open view okay view pins go to notebook and you can see we have the editor which is our normal spider editor and we have a notebook which is the spider notebook now we need to if you need to uh, like save this this will be saved in the location app data local temp notebook directories it will be nothing but uh, if you go to your whatever username users 
here and then your name followed by the app data local temp spider notebooks and in that notebook i have given my data set okay it depends on you wherever you want to save i have given it here just for an example and then what i will do i will execute the code one by one what is present here i will not execute the entire code but few uh, cells that is uh, i just want to show you okay control enter i have given and then it is executed you can see the lm plot which is created after that we give a plus sign and the new uh, code we can execute okay the reset plot basically we can execute the reset plot go to the notebook again and then you execute the residual plot okay the residues basically which is the in the linear regression after that i want to plot the different uh, level of uh, order for one two three four you go to notebook and again you give a plus sign and you set uh, execute this so so this is how we can use the spider script to uh, uh, work like notebook like um, through the cells where you give the hash percentage percentage hash percentage percentage and uh, the other way around is to run a conda install spider notebook hyphen c spider in your anaconda prompt and then you need to start your uh, python and then in the view mode you go to paints and then you you need to check the notebook and then you this two option editor and notebook will come so that's how spider notebook works so that's it for the session thanks a lot for watching the session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and please uh, post in my comment section if you need me to cover any other topic i am working on all the suggestion and whoever has posted in my comment section okay so that's it for the session i'll see you in the next video thank you